Hey guys, it's Tech Infusion, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use ScreenFlow and just what its uh, functions are. So basically, to start a new recording, we could just come up here and hit record or shift command 2. I think I applied that uh, uh, key shortcut, um, but you can do whatever you want in the settings, which I'll show you later. Now, configure recording right here. If we click on that little uh, drop down and then hit configure recording, we can see all of our options for the recording. Now, uh, we can record desktop from color LCD, and if you have external monitors and extra monitors like that, you can se select which one you want to record. Now, record screen from, uh, there's no available iOS devices. If I plug one in, you can actually record your iOS devices, uh, just like QuickTime could. Now, record video, uh, I'm not going to do that, but uh, you can actually record video using your HD uh, built-in FaceTime camera on your Mac, and then record audio, and you have a selection of... Uh, recording devices and as you can see it's picking up from my microphone right here and you can see the little audio level so yeah um, record computer audio if you want to record the computer audio of course I mean this is all pretty self-explanatory um, that's basically for good for games and uh, tutorials where you need music and stuff coming through and it records now what's nice about that feature though is that it comes in in separate channels uh, the desk desktop and audio and computer audio come in as different channels so you can actually lower one or completely get rid of it if you don't like it so that's awesome and pretty nice um, over here we have the desktop frame rate 30 frames per second is the max for me, and that's what I have it set on. And then we have a timer just to view on your video under 15 minutes or something over 10 minutes like that. Now, here we have the welcome screen. I should have started off there. And you can also click on what's new if you do want to get uh, some information as well as get some help. Now, new document, uh, we can see 1080p, uh, 1920 by 1080. New document just means... Uh, it's kind of, This pro program is also an editor, so you can actually edit uh, movies within this program which is so nice and that's why it's such a good great value for the price um, but we're not going to do that right now but you actually can create a document and actually edit in here using the recordings that you add through your media media library so let's go ahead and don't save this and come back over to configure recording now recent documents uh, I don't really edit with ScreenFlow I actually use Premiere and Final Cut Pro so basically that's the welcome screen let's go ahead and go through some some of the preferences now uh, here we have show screen flow options in menu bar uh, right here we can actually get rid of that little video but I like to keep it open because if you do keep that open then you can actually uh, not even have to open the application itself to record you can just hit that little button right here and hit record and also you've got to have launch screen flow helper at user lock-in check to be able to do that so countdown for five seconds i'm actually going to make that three because i find it a little too long but you can actually turn off the countdown altogether once you hit record that just helps you get prepared and start your recording of course you can trim off the beginning if you do miss the uh start but, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of a countdown. So, uh, yeah, check for screen full locks. Now, here are the recording hotkeys that I was telling you. To change it, you can just uh, uh, type in here. And now it's actually pre preparing to record. Let's stop that. <laughs> That's not too good. But, yeah, you can actually start type the shortcut in there and... Yeah, I'll use the old shortcut, but that's what I typed, and that's why I started recording. So that's the shortcut key I want for that, and then we have the pause. And then the add marker so that when you're editing, actually, you can see a marker in there just to, like, clip it out. Say you said something you didn't want to say, or there was a big noise in the background, and you want to cut that out. So uh, over here we have timeline. Now, I'm not going to go into all of these because this is not essential. I've actually had gone into these settings before in timeline. So, uh, I mean, default transition, that's actually probably good to have cross dissolve as a default tra transition, but that's all we're gonna look at. And advanced, so we have video magnification, I would suggest smooth, and screw recording, compression, adaptive, um, it really doesn't matter. Also, computer audio, and if you, uh, the driver, that basically uh, installs its driver, uh, so it can actually record the computer sound. So if you're familiar with Soundflower, it basically has its own driver just like that. And it installs it, but it sets it up all for you. That's why it makes it so simple. And it actually is very high quality sound coming from your computer. Now, uh, licenses, we're not going to go into there. So let's go actually go ahead and take a look at a project I've recently done. And I'll show you a couple things you can do inside the editor. Um, 
here we have the video and of course you can't probably hear it because I actually turned off the volume in QuickTime because I didn't want to go through all that but anyways you don't need to hear the volume so uh, basically video wise what we can do with this video is we can you know rotate it that's nothing amazing but you can change the opacity so if you did have other videos and you apply them in here because this is a video editor you can actually put more videos on top of the videos and change the opacity so how much you see behind it anyways you can see the reflection if I did make this video smaller just like that you can see the reflection if I turn it on and off which is kinda cool if you did want your uh, video smaller but you know there's different applications for this and I don't really use this program to edit although you can so that's pretty cool and of course you have your shadow and yeah I mean I'm not I, we don't need to go into all this because it's just pretty intuitive right here um, color control saturation right there as you can see we can make it black and white or we can make it like way oversaturated we'll put that back at 100% brightness same way so you can put the brightness down or we can put the brightness like all the way up and there's again uses for those as well and then the contrast We'll put that back to 100. Uh, so then we have video filters. Um, we actually have to add them and you can download some more, but I'm not going to do that today. Now, action wise, we can add actions and um, like zooming and stuff like that, but we're not going to do that again either. So uh, if we do add a video action though, wait, I'm trying to find it. Okay, you got to select where you want. Yeah, right here. Now we have a video action actually, but and we'll go over that a little bit later. So audio. Um, Let's go ahead and click on our audio here. We can change the volume and just many various things. You can mute the audio, of course, and just different things like that. Of course, you can't hear the audio, so we're not going to go into too much like that. Um, if you do have a lot of background noise, though, you can actually turn that off, which is nice and handy. Okay, so if we come up to the next one, we can actually see screen recording. Now, we can actually choose to get rid of the mouse pointer, which is I think is kind of cool. Uh, if you see the mouse pointer right there um, in the video, and you can just get rid of it or you can t make it huge and extra large just like that as you can probably I'm trying to find a one where you yeah see the hand is like huge and so let's go ahead and turn that back down to 100 click effect we can uh, make it like some special see like that that red dot or we can just we can fumble around with these settings and change them around to do whatever we want the video to be like so uh, that we can make the change the pointer to a circle a dark circle a square just different things like that or even choose an image what we want our pointer to be which is super cool I mean there's definitely reasons to have it but I don't use these again um, and then we have a sound on click of course uh, you won't be able to hear that and then of course we can choose the volume and then the click sound so uh, keystrokes those are pretty cool so when you actually type you can actually see the uh, keystrokes they'll just pop up like right here in the video somewhere and, they, and then you can see those keystrokes but I don't need to go over that right now now callouts you can create callouts on the video like kind of like YouTube's uh, annotations um, you can like put a little note right here do not click here or something like that I mean you just do all these cool different different little things like annotations and text on the screen now media library you can actually add new recordings and add media already on your computer but I mean that's a basic rundown of ScreenFlow and all of its functions of course I didn't go in through all of it um, not in depth if you really really want an in-depth video on ScreenFlow please let me know and I'll make one but this was just a tutorial on how to use it and a quick overview of the new ScreenFlow 5 so of course right here you can actually I forgot to tell you zoom in and out of your timeline and of course you can actually trim your video and project just like that so basically that's all I have to say um, I hope this video was helpful for you if it was please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment and subscribe also please go leave a like on my Facebook page and yeah I'll put a link down to that in the description and thanks so much for watching guys if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer them and I hope you have a great have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video